Good morning. My name is Gabriel Porter. The date today, March 13, 2005, and the time, 10:15. There have been many events in the world that have affected our Earth. Events in North America, South America, Europe, Asia, and Africa have all been affected by these specific events. Our communities, our society, our world, all traumatized after these events. But these events, however, have proved significant in many ways. How have these events affected our world for the better or for the worse? All right, Gabe, so can you tell me some interesting facts about this uh, museum? Of course, this is the Detroit Institute of Arts located in Michigan, Detroit. And it's one of the largest most significant art collections in the United States of America. It covers 658,000 square feet. It has a major renovation that we have all the time, around 58,000 square feet. That's a lot of art. So if you were to take all this art here in Zillow, how much would you be able to make? If you took every piece of art, it would be roughly around $8.1 million. So, if you have to pick more of the more, more famous art pieces here, which one would you choose? Definitely the Detroit industry. It is one of the largest art pieces in here, painted by Diego Rivera. It showcases the people who were early in Detroit and the foreign water company early when they were in here to the industry. So, there was lots of people who you know how long it takes them to paint that? It took them around 11 months to paint. So, if you have to point it out, would you be able to do it? Yes, of course. Why don't you do that? Of course. Alright, Dave, come on over here. Why don't you take a little time in this art piece here? So, this was painted by Diego Rivera in the early 1950s. Alright, so, do you know how it was actually created? So, yes, if you can see, it was layered by five layers of art. Which took him around a month. So, I want to talk about the specific piece right here. What does this represent? So, it represents the early industrial revolution of the Fourth Year. You know, people were coming into Detroit learning about how big cars were made, and they were painting what the first rendition of what the Fourth Year was. Alright, this is Gabe. It's My fellow Americans, we have just heard that the World Trade Center has been hit. We don't know if this is going to be a attack on the nation. All we know is that the World Trade Center has been hit. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just informed that the second tower was hit. Ladies and gentlemen, we are under attack. One of the worst attacks that could happen to American history. 9-11. George W. Bush, the President of the United States at the time, has just announced that Homeland Security will be created. Around 3,000 people were killed. Two planes hit the World Trade Center, one plane into the Pentagon, and one plane was crashed into Pennsylvania with survivors hijacking the plane. This is still affecting Americans to this very day. Fear, grief, and outrage is across all Americans. September 11, 2001. A moment in time that will never be forgotten. It was a clear sunny morning in New York City when the North Tower of the World Trade Center was hit at 8.46 a.m. Approximately 17 minutes later, at 9.03 a.m., the South Tower was hit and informed the United States that they were under attack. Thousands of firefighters went into the towers not knowing what was going to happen next. 56 minutes later, the South Tower fell and killed thousands of people. Nobody expected this to happen, as people were still unaware of the situation at the time. 29 minutes later, the North Tower fell and was the last major event that happened on 9-11. One of the main things that this event changed is the way air travel worked. Hijackers were able to easily able to sneak weapons onto planes and able to gain access to cockpits. This caused airports all over the world to begin to check passengers' IDs and implemented x-ray machines. This alone created so much more safety around the entire world. During the 1920s, the stock market crashed due to Wall Street investors investing 16 million shares in a single day. This had unfortunately caused one of the worst depressions in the world, the Great Depression of the 1930s. It lasted around 10 years and affected individuals and businesses all around the world. 
This event gave many people and governments the idea that banking needs to be changed. The Glass-Steagall Act in 1933 was created so that banks would have a Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, the FDIC. This made sure that each bank would have insurance to whenever it closed, people would be able to retrieve their money if they had any stored. The Great Depression also established a 40-hour work week so people won't be overworked, minimum wage so people were being paid at least something as they worked, and exterminated child labor so children didn't have to work for their family to survive. Even after all these tragic events are going on through America, our sponsor, Burger King, will never let you be hungry. Stay well fed, eat like a king. Thank you everybody for showing up. Exactly why are we here? My brother here doesn't think imaginary friends exist. <gasps> Okay, I believe! You can unleash your imagination with Foster's Toys at Burger King. Wobbling, coloring, changing fun. There are nine different toys in all. There's one in every kid's meal, featuring healthy choices like applesauce. Have it your way! Need an imaginary towel? I'm good. Broccoli, one seventy nine on debit card. Casserole, anyone? Tuna, three fifty nine. Crescent rolls, two thirty nine. Getting everyone together for dinner. You certainly are in a pickle. Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. I'm stuffed to the gills. For everything else, there's Deb and Mastercard. Accepted at your favorite supermarket. I got an amp, guitar, surfboard, ladder, and 12 2x4s. Velocity meets versatility. The all-new Hemi-powered Dodge Magnum. Open it up from either end. Now we're here at American. How about let me in on this big news? All right, it's just I'm so excited and so is American. Are you ready? I'm always ready. It's here at American. Our newly designed Maytag Neptune washer and dryer. You're right. This is big. Oh, it's really big. Largest capacity ever, which means we can wash more clothes at once. Hmm. And even more time on our hands. The new Maytag Neptune washer with a capacity so large it fits a king-size comforter and it's energy efficient. For less laundry and more life, look for Maytag Neptune at American. It is a beautiful day here in France. The birds are chirping, the bees, they are buzzing. It is all très magnifique. Ah, oh, oui, it is good to be French. Monsieur, you are toast. French toast? Meet American toast. Part of this complete breakfast. Crazy good! Here's something you don't see McDonald's doing, doubling their menu. But that's exactly what Subway Restaurants is doing. Now every sub they make, you can get toasted or untoasted. The choice is yours. Try the great taste of our low-fat savory turkey sub, now fresh toasted. Subway, eat fresh. Now, moving on to Europe. There's an inner war happening in Germany. And we have Nazism starting, which rose and began World War II. As you all know, the Great War, part two. Now. Germany had faced challenges politically and socially, all ran by Adolf Hitler, who has affected Europe forever. Nazism, a movement led by Adolf Hitler, was an intense nationalism that faced mass ad appeal and dictatorial rule. Nazism was very extreme in its ideas and practices exterminating any people who didn't follow rules or ideologies of Nazism. When Nazis came to power in 1933, they were very concerned with how people were abiding with their rules. However, they were also cared about the animals in the area. In 1934, they passed a law that regulated the number of animals that could be killed in specific areas and the amounts of animals that could be killed every year. This made it so not every animal on site could be killed. Without this law, most native animals in Germany would have been extinct. The world ended in 1945 and denazification began. Germans began to remove any signs of Nazism from their lives, including the swastika flag that became the symbol of evil in modern culture. Today we will continue our statement, starting with the Vietnam War, starting in 1955 and ending in 1975, at the whole entire world on the edge of their seats. 
John F. Kennedy, who was the United States president at the time, was sending financial aid, military, to support South Vietnam. North Vietnam had gained too powerful and was attacking North Vietnam. However, the country soon unified as the Social Republic of Vietnam the following year. The United States entered the Vietnam War in order to try and prevent the spread of communism. The United States ended up losing the war due to the fact that they had no clue how to navigate the country. The Vietnam War ended with the North and South united under the Communist North in 1975. This war was politically important because it showed that the United States had a passion for fighting against communist countries. It showed that the United States was world dominant and that if any country showed communism, they would be attacked by the U.S. All of these things have affected our world and there's still many events that come up, but first, Let's have a quick break. We'll see you back in a second. Nintendo GameCube. One fine morning, all the cars had gathered bright and early by the village green. Morning, tooted Jazz as she went by. Morning, replied the others. You look well, shouted one. Thank you, replied Jazz. She always looks well. Surgery, snorted a grouchy one. No, she's not as plastic as you. And they all laughed. I hear she's even nice on the inside, said one admirer. Nah, she wouldn't be made like me, grumbled the grouchy car. Fortunately, said another, and they all laughed again. I bet she's expensive, said one. They would have fainted with surprise at the price. But they were cars, not people. Kids. I don't know. They've just got absolutely no idea how much things cost these days. Well, we won't tell them if you don't. Tesco. Every little helps. The African Union has been announced and strives to recreate the European Union in Africa. It was announced on September 9, 1999 and strive to replace the Organization of African Unity, or the OAU. The AU was officially founded on July 9, 2002. The AU has many landmarks in it, like the Sahara Desert and the Nile River. Now we don't know a lot of the information about this, but we do know that it strives to be bigger and better than the EU. Many countries in Latin America have been thriving with inflation, reaching an all-time 50-year low, and their economic growth growing more than ever. Most countries are thriving in the trade industry. One-fifth of the country's profits have been from trading from neighboring countries, including the United States. To this day still, these countries are thriving, and we will just have to see how long this will last. Alright guys, thanks for watching our news podcast today. It's Brian St. Just here, signing off.